I'm going for slow mo today. <laughs> Yesterday started too quick. <laughs> trying to get in the middle oh, yeah, what's you, going on guys you can tell it's raining it is raining my, my thingy dips when it rains it's dipping <laughs> we got some hot beef jerky from china we also got from zest fest for free I don't know. it kind of looks like uh, tarantulas it looks like moss like spiders i don't even know don't even put that image in my head <laughs> yeah I'm getting the book from Harry Potter like <laughs> Yeah. So here's the ingredients. Beef, sugar, soy sauce, powdered chili pepper, salt, wine, crushed red pepper. Made in the USA. Made in the USA. But China jerky. Chinese brand beef jerky. DC China meat. China meat. Meat from China. Made in the US. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Usually it's like the other way around, like U.S. stuff made in China, where this is just in a reverse. Very interesting. I don't like the face you just made. Yeah. What? No. I don't. It looks worse. Yeah. What does that smell? <laughs> you just... They're in clumps that remind me of spiders. Like, can you just edit, like, a spider, just one of those, like, jump scare things? I don't edit the <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, no. Yep, there's spiders everywhere now. <laughs> Literally! <laughs> Literally. Ew! 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 <laughs> it leaves, like, fuzzy... I'm, Is that a league? I'm not know. okay here. <laughs> it's really fuzzy. Oh, it's everywhere. It's got hair. <laughs> it literally looks like I had a like, oh. golden doodle in here. Alright, well I'm just going to go for it, I guess. <laughs> okay. Oh. It's not Sergeant Dunn's beef jerky. No, it's like a gas station. I'm confused. I taste the soy sauce. It's like a sweet soy sauce. Yeah. Interesting. I'm not sure where the hot comes in. I have like the slightest of like tingles. How do I even get this off of my seat? Lint roller. Oh my dear. Interesting. All right, I need to borrow a uh, vacuum cleaner. So yesterday, after I did that tink chug, those were it indeed cramps that I was getting in it's the video. And turned off the, the camera and sat for like 30 seconds. And I feel bad for anybody who watches the security cameras. I like projectile. Not in the car. I was trying to get oh, to that point. Out. I got out the car and it was like as soon as I stood up, it was just an instant gut bomb. Like it hurt really bad. Probably one of the top five worst cramps I've had. Um, normally, like, after you you do a hot challenge, you know, like, the, the cramps, like, start coming. You feel it coming down. Like, you start getting, like, very slight pains, and then they just increase from there. This was just a straight, like, shot to the gut. And I threw up a little bit. I think I chugged like four bottles of water. Five total. And yeah, projectile <laughs> right to the side of the building from the curb. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> I've never done that before. Not that intensely either. It was all water. I was literally. And then it eventually came up. And lunch. And a little bit of lunch. 
I'm sitting in the car like, I don't want to go out there, but I need to be an emotional support human. Like, literally. Tentacle. Surprisingly, the hair texture kind of goes away instantly. Yeah, when it gets wet, it just goes back into the meat, I guess. I don't know. So, yeah, that lasted probably about 20 minutes of intense, like, throwing up and sharp pains. It was, it was bad. Two biscuits, five bottles of water. Yeah. Like 17 napkins. <clears throat> I had, like, no mouth burn at all. But, like, the tears that I had coming out was literally hot. It was the capsaicin trying to get out of your body. <clears throat> like, you know when, if you've ever gotten cap cramps, your sweat and stuff is just your body trying to get the stuff out from inside of you. Sometimes it comes out the tear glands before anything else, like if it's that brutal. <clears throat> like, even doing challenges, uh, you'll start, like, getting sweaty face and tears, and it's hot. <clears throat> that's why Jason yells at me when I blow my nose. <clears throat> yeah, that makes it worse. Yeah, I blew my nose too, and that that hurt. So, yeah, it was it was a fun time. It was a fun time. Um, so I had to roll up my window. I got two more things to do, so we'll see. I got a stupid hot challenge. Possibly not full jar though. Possibly. Huh? I said possibly not chugging the whole jar. Yeah, might spit it out instead of swallowing. We'll see, <clears throat> but I ended up eating five hot peppers last night on Tincture Tuesday. No cramps at all, not even a little stomach rumble, nothing. Yeah, we went to Sheets after and I was like, well, how's your stomach? He was like, fine. Yeah, it got a little queasy a little bit as I was eating them, but that's because I had nothing in my stomach still. <laughs> but I ate a couple slices of bread before going on there. Wasn't bad. So, I did find out that, like, drinking a lot of water and stuff before a challenge is actually not good because it speeds up your digestive tract, which makes the cramps hit a lot faster. Hydrate so, that's a little tip. Way before. Yeah, hydrate the day before, and then the next day, just prep your stomach with food, not water. <laughs> Bread-like substance. Bread's been helpful for me. Or potatoes. Yeah. Bread and potatoes, for the most part. I mean, Kevin says bananas, but probably potassium is good for cramping. So, yeah, peanut butter, bananas, bread, potatoes. Yeah, maybe a peanut butter and banana sandwich. Is yeah, like the key go-to. Everything in it. Don't know. Except for potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Get potato bread. Side of French fries. <laughs> <laughs> Carbs will help you burn a lot of that off. It gives your body energy to cramp. Yeah. So I'm still experimenting, trying to figure out the best thing for this contest, pepper eating contest in Dallas. It so is. like, I don't, I don't want to cramp while I'm up on stage. So I need to figure that part out. And it is trial and error. It's different for everyone. Yeah. But with the bread and stuff, I've been able to go about two hours, three hours before cramps hit. So that's not bad at all. So, we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated for all you uh, chili heads that watch, that are trying to figure out the cramp stuff and what works, so. And then when we go to Dallas, <clears throat> prayers that I don't also throw up listening to everybody else. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely going to happen. I may or may not steal my child's noise-canceling headphones for this trip. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty excited. <laughs> like, honestly. We got our tinks out. Which is limited. We don't yes. have as much as we thought <clears throat> we was going to have. But we have more brewing as well. So yes, we're not going to run out before they all sell it. We shouldn't. We'll and, see. We'll see. And it is a pre-sale. Yep. They'll be shipping next week. Monday, Tuesday-ish. Wednesday latest for sure. I'm trying to bust out these labels, but my Cricut app is being annoying. <laughs> also got to bottle all the tanks. Just yep. so you know. So... It's not Take just that. labels. <clears throat> I'm, well, yeah. I'm just saying, 
Yeah. I'm very excited though. I got to pick the things. They actually, the labels turned out really, really cool. Do you have a favorite one? Label wise. I made them all, so I like them all. I found an Oogie one. You sent me a blurry version of it. Okay. So okay. I had to find other ones. I apparently saw <laughs> them pictures, but I gave a base. Um, I really don't know what my favorite is. It's the, probably Sally. Honestly. Yeah. The Oogie label is cool, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Minerva McGonagall side eye. Yeah. That's probably my second or third. They're all pretty nice. She's a beautiful woman. I'm excited for them to be done and for everyone to try them. Yes. I always. want to see reviews. Yes. For sure. Because we're not going to get to review all of them, I don't think. Probably not. No. We'll be waiting until next year to review Steve, to see Steve's reviews. Yes. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. Well, maybe by Christmas. We'll Chris see. Christmas present, Steve. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Steve's got like 500 reviews to do before even getting these but things so i'm really excited for zeros yeah <laughs> he's got yeah. a little pumpkin nose and i made the pumpkin pie flavor but once we start bottling them up we'll sh we'll show them on here yeah we'll show a couple a day probably if we have extra we'll review it as well i'm buying a bottle of zero so we never we'll review that we never review our own stuff so i'm gonna review my <laughs> zero just because yeah. i want it <laughs> All right, guys. <clears throat> Thanks for watching, and we will catch you later. Something stupid, maybe. Don't know. It's Wednesday. It depends on the... It's what the work. fuck Wednesday. Exactly. All right. Good day.